Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Actually Diet Art by Science. This is Daily Vlog, episode 21. And today I wanted to first thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. It really makes me happy. Heart from Korea. <laughs> um, the first thing I really wanted to talk about today was um, why I like doing these vlog videos. And every time someone sees them, it really. Um, it makes me feel good because I want to share what I like doing with the rest of the world and sort of introducing, you know, maybe something new to someone who wouldn't otherwise know what fiber arts is. And the other thing is it allows me to sort of communicate um, with others some of the places I like to visit. Most of the time they're going to be online. Um, but like if there are other fiber shops that I like going to or if there are online shops that I want to talk to other people about this is a really great venue for me to sort of get the information out there because if you're a beginner this is a whole new world for you uh, trust me I've been there and it's still growing it's like a rapidly expanding universe for me so um, I, I I'm using these to sort of like communicate to everyone else what I like to do. Sorry if I sound a little bit sick. I am starting to get a little sick. <laughs> um, and then I thought I would just introduce really quick um, the two little stuffed animals on the bed. Um, the bunny is Monty and the puppy is Socket. Those little guys have traveled all the way to South Korea to stay on our bed. They've been sleeping with us ever since. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, that was over the second thing that I want to do today, and that is sort of show you guys the thing that I got in the mail. Um, Natalie Redding at Namaste Farms is a wonderful shepherdess. She actually has a master's degree, I think, in animal science. So uh, what she does, she breeds specific sheep. So um, mostly, I think she's she's uh, doing long wool sheep, so like Winsdale and Teeswater. And um, I think she also has some goats, so she has like mohair available. Um, but part of the reason why her sheep are amazing is that she um, has a lot of background in breeding uh, animals because I think she grew up on a farm, so she's like accustomed to the farm life. And then in addition, she spent a lot of time and a lot of money really finding and uh, breeding some of the best animals that she can and um, as a result everyone wants this fiber <laughs> um, and just to show you um, something that really made me squee when I got this package are these really long sexy locks that's right they are sexy and I don't know they're probably uh, I haven't actually measured them probably at least 12 inches long for, for a lot of them and I haven't quite figured out. I'm thinking these might be tease water. Tease water locks. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, these these gorgeous locks, these are the reason why um, a lot of people want her fleeces. Because she grows the fleeces very long on the sheep. So she only she does fewer uh, shears each year. Which means the price of the fleece goes up. And then because they're such high quality price goes up even more but if you get your hands on it it's totally worth the price trust me I've, I've bought I bought some other things from her and I totally loved it anyway she's doing these breed boxes I think she started in January so she's got oh no she's maybe she started in February I don't remember um, she's got uh, no it was January January February March those are the three breed boxes available right now I don't know what her availability is for all of them she might not actually have uh, January still left, but I got the February box, which inside has Winsleydale and Teeswater. And what she does is um, she segments it all into these little bags, like this. She made it way prettier for everyone who was getting it in the United States because I'm in Korea and like the shipping to reduce the cost, she just kind of made it not as pretty. But um, the ribbons that were wrapped around all the samples are really pretty. <laughs> um, but basically, she puts like a one ounce sample in these bags, um, and this is the raw fleece, so yes, this is covered in lanolin and has a very farm fresh smell, 
Um, but I think this actually, I think these might actually be LinkedIn locks. So it looks like anyway. Um, but what the what the goal is to do a fiber study for specific breeds of animal. So um, you know maybe you're sp you're learning to spin right now and you've got like some carded wool or some roving or some top. Um, you know at some point if you're really interested in spinning you're going to want to move beyond just you know the basics so to speak. And this is actually one of the ways great ways you can do it because you're going to get your hands on some really fabulous fleeces. You're going to have sort of like a guided study because on her website, which I will link to below, it has like all the information on the breeds that were for each box. And the goal is to um, take the raw fleece um, and then sort of touch them and examine them and like look at the lock structure and how do they feel. And what you're supposed to do is at some point learn <laughs> Um, how to tell the difference between um, like a young fleece and an older fleece um, and even the qualities of fleeces because I mean not every sheep is going to be exact even if they are uh, biologically related there's going to be some small differences in the way that the locks look and the, the way that the texture feels and I mean even though there's breed standards I have definitely felt um, merino fleeces that are to die for soft, even though the micron count is still pretty average, like 21. They, I, I can't explain how, like, why they're so soft. They just really are. So this is a really great way to, you know, sort of delve in. It's not overwhelming. It's not like buying an entire eight-pound fleece or something like I've done before. It's, I think, about 10 ounces of wool that you get, and um, I think it's like 10 samples, and then you, you know, you you kind of follow along with the people that are also doing the breed study on her Ravelry page and she's got like I said all the information on her website and then you know you just kind of do this at home at your leisure and, and you're, you're going to eventually learn how to tell the difference and be a better buyer when it comes down to you know if you're gonna go to a fleece or a fiber like I, I forget what they're called they're like fleece and fiber show I don't know something like that I'm sure someone will correct me in the future. Um, <laughs> so um, you'll be able to, you know, pick out fleeces or, you know, at least gauge the quality and and pit that against the price. You know, if you have a really low quality fleece and it's really expensive, you'll know probably to walk away from that fleece because it's probably overpriced. Um, and, you know, if, if you're with um, friends, you know, and they're looking for fleeces, you can sort of help them out with your own insights, so that's also nice, too. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying, this, this is a really great way to get used to, um, you know, trying around with other fleeces without being overwhelmed with a ton of stuff to get through. Um, the price is, is really reasonable for all the things that you get, and I think the shipping is included, so it's even more of a bonus. Um, and there's a lot of hard work that I'm sure went into all this, so I don't even know if it's if she's getting a lot of money out of this. I think she's doing it more because she wants to get back to the community and educate people on, um, you know, choosing fleeces and stuff like that. So I really appreciate that as well. Anyway, so this is going to be my weekend project. Hopefully I'll be able to at least start on it before I hit the wall and have to sleep until I'm no longer sick. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'll, just, I'll just show you some of these others really quick and then wrap things up. I think this is a Winsleydale. Yeah, it looks like Winsleydale. It's a beautiful charcoal black color. I don't know what this is. Oh, Lincoln. Okay. Ooh, that's actually a really soft Lincoln. It's probably a baby. Is it a baby? Oh, it's a lamb. <laughs> She, I think she put the um, labels in here for me. I don't know because this is a February box and um, she's already on the March box because it's March right now. So she may have just shoved what they were into the bag for me. I don't know. Um, I can't say for certain. But yeah, I, I think this is going to be a lot of fun to try out. And um, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I'm definitely going to link below for you. And um, 
yeah, support another uh, small business owner. She runs a farm, basically. So any help to a small business owner and a farmer would be really, I guess she's not a farmer. She's a shepherdess. I should call her shepherdess before she, like, comes to Korea and kicks me with her Prada boots because that's what she wears. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Any other information will be located in the description below. Send me some comments. If you want to see sort of my progress through this, what I could do is I could uh, take pictures um, along the way and I could post them to my Facebook page. And if I have an overwhelming response uh, for people who really want to see um, or, you know, just to hear my commentary about everything, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other questions and you don't want to, like, uh, like t you know, like the 500 words is, is going to take up too much uh, space, just send me an email. It's Jennifer, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R, <laughs> at expertlydied.com. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.